you know, this is where the army is going to have to recognize and see what has been the trajectory of churches that have gone down this road. Right. Look right. at the PCUSA. Look at the Young Methodist Church. Go all down the line. All major denominations, mainline denominations that have gone down this road have ended in a total disaster. Mm. They've either ended in a massive membership loss, which is what's fueled most of the large you know, evangelical churches in this country now, or they've gone into a huge split mm -hmm. where the movement itself is severed in multiple pieces. And look at the PC at USA, the PCA, the OP, the EP. You look at the, the UNSC church about to have the Global Methodist Church break off. And so I would really encourage the army to, to never forget your roots. Mm. You know, your holiness roots. That's yeah. what gives you the vibrancy of your movement. Right. There's no point in abandoning that. It's so powerful. It's so vital. Mm -hmm. And the advantage that the army brings is that you, no one can say about the army yeah. that all you care about are people's justification and their souls. Right. Right. I mean, that's, the, that's what we get a lot. In right. Sure, you sure. know, oh, you guys all, you know, you're just, you're just, you know, tr trying to plant, get healed into heaven. You don't care about this world and all that. No one can say about the army. Right. Sure. So you guys have got the advantage where no one can question your commitment to the, to the culture, the deepest needs of the culture. Mm. And yet you're born out of a deep evangelistic spirit that wanted to populate heaven. Right, amen. And you've got it both. Don't give it up. And it's a theology of the body. <laughs> yeah. It helps us get, to, get it, right. it can re-enliven what we call our social services, right? Like exactly. this is what, 